Hello again, Poison Feather here. Um, this is my third video I've uploaded today. Um, third video I've ever, third video I've ever uploaded, really. Um, I well, originally, you know, I made quite a few notes a while ago, and uh, about Diablo three, Diablo two, and Diablo one, um, and I wanted to put them in a big video. Um, Realised that, um, I mean, my own viewing habits. Um, I quite often would prefer to watch smaller videos anyway. Um, rather than really really long videos so I um, thought I'd sort of split them up into sort of like 20 minute sections um, I think I've already done two 20 minute videos maybe so uh, yeah so this is part two part one um, was posted up um, probably just a few minutes ago so um, I'm going to start part two now um, so where do we start uh, first of all uh, Ring of Rural Grandeur wow what an item um, pretty much essential um, if you want to be obviously um, using quite a few different sets um, actually for those who don't know what a ring of rural grandeur is um, it's a ring, a unique ring which um, only drops out of Act 1 um, caches or Act 4 as the Act 4 drops um, any uh, of the Act's caches um, cache only items um, it can take a while to get one um, you know I farmed I don't know, a million a million bounties to get mine um, I've got three so far um, got one on a, uh, a marauder um, demon hunter which is good uh, one on my leap quake barb and one on my zunamasa witch doctor uh, I would actually mind a few more um, probably one for a demon my other demon hunter uh, one for a monk maybe um, run um, uh, what's it called um, oh, what's the set called um, inner set um, and maybe I don't know whether it's worth running monkey king I don't know whether you can run the both at the same time I never found any parts of it um, anyway but um, yeah I wouldn't mind finding one of them anyway so yeah sorry the ring of all grandeur that was stupid wasn't it so I went off track there um, is a ring which means that um, when you're wearing the ring um, any sets that you have um, it basically counts as the uh, you get the set bonus for the next part of the set so say you've got two immortal kings pieces and you're wearing the ring um, it would actually count that you're wearing three immortal kings pieces and so the set bonus you get for having the three um, is a uh, is um you you get um also uh say you had you could have like an immortal king set and a um earthquake set i think yeah i think uh, you can actually have them both on at the same time i think with ring of all grandeur which uh would be you know pretty good to do so uh yeah you'd have the so many pieces of the earthquake set on so many pieces of the immortal king set on a ring of all grandeur and get the bonuses from the two sets so that's basically how it works for those who don't know I'm sure everybody knows by now but um, yeah so there we go um, so yeah so I've got um, found three of them so far which I'm really happy about um, unfortunately the last one um, well the story is basically um, I was running Norm um, I was running Norm bounties um, with my demon hunter one of my demon hunters um, managed to find a second Donetta's bow two part set which was good which means um basically you can un you can vault for a unlimited amount of time um because what it, t it turns discipline into hatred instead of hatred each time you vault so you know you can get to these places really really quickly which uh you know so if you're doing i was doing normal bounties for example um you know you get to the place where you need to get to and it's so so quickly which is brilliant um so um yeah so i was doing doing a lot of those um Look, I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot, um, and what I was doing was basically um, getting the caches um, and giving them to uh, the characters which I wanted to have a have the Ring of Royal Grandeur, because um, when you open a cache, um, it's uh, the uh, the character that opens them, um, it will have items for that actual class, which is pretty good. So um, what I would do was farm the caches, um, normal split party, um, which you can there's, there's a community called split bounty which um, basically you will just take you will just dash off um, it's usually normal at one um, and you will do like a, a bounty each and then at the end you will um, you will like a probably do the boss or if somebody's done one really quickly and then they go to do the boss like you know everybody else will just like um, decline the event because you know they're busy doing the other bounties um, so yeah so anyway um, 
so I was um, I was uh, farming for bounties and um, used to give them to the characters um, and I managed to get a couple of rings that way um, eventually I got really 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 bored of just um, doing normal caches and also bored of doing so many caches then giving them to another character having them open and, you know I, I got really bored of it um, so the last time I decided right I'm just going to do a, um, a T2 T2 um, bounty run by myself um, with my um, with my demon hunter um, and just you know get myself a cash. Did did it uh, first time ring a royal grandeur. Unfortunate thing. Uh, I mean I could have obviously given it to my um, given the cash to my witch doctor, but like I said I got bored of having to keep transfer over. So I thought well if a ring drops, you know I'll just re-roll a stat on it. Um, so it did drop. I re-rolled a stat. Obviously unfortunately I couldn't re-roll it into um, into like a, uh, a primary stat like strength or anything so I had to um, I think I had to go for um, cooldown reduction I think in the end but um, yeah so that's my last ring of royal grandeur but a brilliant item um, other unfortunate drops um, syndicate um, <laughs> I um, had a syndicate well, this is when I didn't have a syndicate for my demon hunter for my um, fire cluster house demon hunter um, syndicate uh, dropped uh, obviously, I was extremely chuffed. Um, ID'd it. Um, unfortunately, I think smart loot works about 85% of the time. So uh, my syndicate dropped in the, fifth, the other 15%, and uh, it turned out to be a. Um, uh, it was good syndicate, um, but it turned out to be a strength syndicate uh, with um, a um, crusader skill uh, on it. So that was uh, wasn't brilliant. Um, I mean, I gave it to my crusader in the end, um, turned him into fire, so that you know that worked out fine. But um, yeah, that was a bit a uh, bit gutting really. Um, where's in my uh, demon hunter? Where's Syndicate now? But I think I got that through gambling. But um, yeah, a bit gutted on that. Um, one thing I was thinking about Diablo three um, shields. Um, you uh, you know, it's only really crusaders that use them, isn't it? Um, I've very, very rarely seen a barbarian have a shield, and even rarer seen a monk have a shield. But um, you know, you've got certain items like shields, which um, I mean, your Templar uses a shield, obviously, but certain items like um, shields, which um, they're just you know they're just kind of pointless. You know, like there's 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 only one class that uses it, so um, you know it would be nice that excuse me, um, it was a bit more diverse, like. For example, you could have um, shields which, um, I mean, there are shields which do proc, you know, proc certain things like the, um, well, the Crusader shield which um, procs a, um, I think there's a, a wolf runs out from your shield which is uh, pretty good. I think that's called West March Defender or something like that. Um, but, um, yeah, um, you know, you could have like a shield which like on your, um, say on your, I don't know, say, uh, on your wizard, maybe um, you know, uh, on on block, um, summon something or you know anything like that. You know, just be more. Bit, I think just be interesting. I mean, it's all right. You know, I'm happy with how it is, but just think, you know, shields aren't used that much. You know, and uh, you know, it's just kind of a shame, really. You know, that there's only like two, a helper and a um, one class which actually use shields, which um, you know, I mean, every, you know, the barb and that can use shields and that. And, you know, but um, you know, it's just there's no point. You know, you don't particularly gain anything. The the DPS drop from um, from having two weapons or that is it's not worth it. Um, anyway, uh, what else? Um, rifts. Um, I, I'm glad in the patch um, they're doing the change in the way um, paying for rifts works. Um, because what I find is um, I mean, because I, I've done a lot of bounties and I still do a lot of bounties. Um, I've um, got a lot of rift stones, but it's still no excuse for when you join a game for everybody to pretend they're extremely busy, um, and you just keep opening the rifts and opening them and opening and opening them. You know, nobody else is really that bothered. You know, like, huh? You know, I'm not using my rift stones, or I can't be bothered to do bounties. You know, you can use yours. Um, but that, you know, that changes in the patch, which will be good. Whereas everybody will have to, um, you know, contribute. Uh, I'm not sure how it works. Like, I haven't played PTR. Um, personally, I don't really like getting into like the PTR elements and that. Um, I don't really like playing PTR and that because um, 
you know, I, I want the stuff to be fresh to me. You know, I want, oh, you know, I want to start the game when a new patch comes out and it all be exciting and new for me. I like reading about it, but actually experience it. You know, I save that until it's actually out. Um, you know, if anybody else is, uh, you know, likes that kind of thing, I'm just going to move the camera a second. Sorry. Uh, if anybody else, um, you know, feels like that as well, you know, feel free to uh, message me and let me know what you, uh, you know, if that's what you do too. You know, you don't play PTR for that sort of reason or that. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway, um, also, um, the thing what annoys me with riffs at the moment is, um, which, um, which will still be the same, um, although I think, um, people have sort of wised up a little bit that this isn't the way to play the get play riffs, but, um, basically, um, you you know, would people will do a rift, um, kill the rift guardian, um, close the rift, okay? Which um, you know, so the people think, well, yeah, obviously that makes sense. You're there to kill the Rift Guardian, um, but in my own personal experience, um, you know, uh, the, the Rift Guardian, you know, is not the best dropper of items. Let's be fair, um, you know, and if the Rift, we all know that the Rift is um, the best and easiest way to find um, legendaries and items and that. So, um, you know, what's the point in going to kill that Rift Guardian, um, closing the Rift? Um, just to open another one to uh, go and kill the Rift Guardian again, you know, it doesn't kind of doesn't make sense in my box unless you're after blood shards because you know gambling is pretty good. You, you mainly complete my sets through gambling. You know, you you know you try long enough gambling with your blood shards and you eventually will get that item you're after, um, set item especially. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think people have changed quite a bit now. I think um, could because of the big buff on rifts, you know, people tend to like follow the rifts through a bit more, and you know, like go and sort of like um, you know, just carry on after you've killed the rift guardian, which is good. Um, I'm still waiting for um, the cow rift though. That's really annoying. I'm still waiting for that for an achievement. Um, uh, well, so a few of these notes in here are actually before um, the PTR notes about, like, for the rift, for example, like I'd put about, um, you know, people closing rifts, etc. Um, oh, actually, no, this might be still applicable. Um, uh, um, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so if, say, um, somebody opens a rift um, and they go and, you go and kill the rift guardian, um, I suppose, although if everybody's put in a, a rift key and everybody's got as much right to close that rift as anyone else, but you know it would be good if um, might perhaps you'd done a vote on it. Maybe that'd be quite good. I know it probably would cut down the speed of the game, you know, so to speak. You know, people won't be able to just go like close, you know, open, close, open sort of thing. But um, I mean, there is a cooldown anyway. But um, yeah, you know, that's maybe an idea. Um, Save some people getting upset because. Um, me uh, because um, somebody's closed the rift when you want to um, carry and clearing it. Um, what else should we talk about? Um, about uh, oh bounties. Um, so, like I said, I've done quite a lot of bounties. Um, I do enjoy doing bounties. Um, I do enjoy getting the caches. Um, the only thing with the caches I find is um, they're not very generous. Um, all the all the um, caches that I found, um, I found um, found some okay bits. Um, I found um, well, obviously rings of world grandeur. Found a uh, mad monarch scepters, uh, that kind of thing. But um, overall, you know, like for the amount of um, caches you open and and that, you know, it's it's a pretty pathetic, really. Um, but you know, that, that, that's it's RNG, isn't it? So. You know, just you just have to keep doing it and keep doing it. You know, if it was easy, you'd get bored, wouldn't you? So, well, if it's too hard, you get bored as well. But you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it would be good. It would be good if you could like, how about um, you open a cache and you got a chance for a um, a key to come out of it. You maybe, or just you know, maybe a few more bits they could throw into the mix. Um, you know, maybe like a guaranteed legendary. I don't know. After like. Um, if you well, it won't be a guaranteed legendary after clearing all the axe bounties. You know, that's an idea. Maybe I think people will be up for that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, I mean, I, like I said, I do enjoy bounties still. Um, it's good for leveling up. Um, like I say, uh, I'm currently um, I've got somebody to rush my um, 
uh, wizard like to the end of Act Five, my hardcore wizard. Um, so now um, I'm just going to do bounties with it, him for a while, um, just to level up. Um, you know, I'm doing it really slowly because my first hardcore character, and um, I'm a bit wary. You know, I don't want him dying, especially as I want to go for the achievements and that. Um, choosing a wizard, I oh know, really stupid. Um, I've got a friend, a uh, friend who's in the clan. Um, he started a hardcore character. He started a crusader, and it completely obliterated me. Um, you know, he's just it was just a walking apart for him. Whereas a wizard, I've got to be so much more sort of like, you know, scared, should we say, and cautious. So uh, yeah, um, what else have we got? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> the more and more I write in this pad, the messier and messier my writing gets. Um, can you see that? Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Um, yeah, so uh, you, you have to excuse me while I try and actually read my writing. Um, I'll probably keep this video going for another five minutes um, and then um, let's have a look. How many pages have we got left? Um, well, quite a lot actually. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I'll probably keep this. Um, Go for another five minutes and then make another video, maybe two. Maybe, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, so what else we got? Um, oh yeah, um, just a couple of things I like. Um, what was introduced in Reaper of Souls? Um, like the introduction of elemental damage on items. That's brilliant. Really enjoy that. Um, you know, something else to aim for. And I like the way that um, you can actually see it in your um, in your like a uh, character specs the details that's that's really good I really enjoy that um, I would like it would be quite good um, also maybe it's going a bit too advanced and you know maybe it's only me who thinks this but um, if you had um, you have uh, if you look down your list you've got your you've got your sheet damage and then you've got your plus fire damage so you do like say say you do you know like I don't know a million damage and then you do an extra fifty percent as fire so I guess that would be one and a half million fire damage um, but then you might have like a you know another skill which is like um, another stat which is like I do 15% extra cluster hour damage um, but it would be nice to be able to hover over that and for it to um, calculate exactly how much damage your cluster hour would do excuse me um, yeah it's not a little thing but I just I think it would be quite kind of cool um, and unfortunately with some of the items um, we're still well. All the items, like you know, quite often concentrating on critical hit, uh, chance, and damage, and attack speed. I mean, that's you know, that's main sort of three things which uh, equal um, you know your sheet damage and that, and which isn't isn't always um, you know isn't always um, correct. You know, there are other variables and that, but. Um, yeah, you know, it seems to be still the sort after skill. You know, you want trifecta this, trifecta that, which is fine. You know, like you've got to have some like very particular um, stats to aim for, haven't you? So, um, but it's fine. I just thought like um, maybe they could have increased, you know, done added a few more bits in there um, and that. Um, although, you know, I mean, like for example, the gold right on a legendary. You know, if you can't get the the critical hit or whatever on it, um, the gold right on the legendary. You know, the, the special. Um, uh, item procs or what the item does um, could be, you know, in fact, be better than that um, that uh, trifecta, should we say? Um, probably not, but there you go. Um, I um I I look at um, quite often when I'm in game. Um, I will watch people what they do and see like the just the the. <laughs> the obliteration basically of the hordes of hell and um and you know and i uh, quite often inspect people's gear and that and you got to give it to these people um the Diablo free players you know most of them know what they're doing you know they're very very sort of like clever and uh, you know they it kind of looks like they're interested in min maxing but also um you know they've worked very hard i mean it seems like a lot of people only play one character class like mainly um, so somebody might just play like Witch Doctor or Demon Hunter or Barb or whatever, you know. Um, I know there's quite a few YouTubers which just do that. Um, whereas I I tend to play all the characters, which probably means that none of my characters are actually that good, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, looking at these people's um, characters, oh, some of them are so clever, you know. Like um, 
well, which we'll say clever, but you know, like um, the balance they can get with their um, damage to cooldown reduction to life to toughness, and you know, all of this kind of thing, you know, and um, you know, the way they 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 build their skills around this and that, and you know, it's uh, it, it's it's brilliant, you know. Um, I mean, although um, it seems like nowadays, like um, it's gone back a little bit to um. Uh, toughness. I mean, D DPS basically being the the be all and end all. Um, I know once you start going to like the higher torments, it's a bit different. Um, you know, I think the highest I've ever been was probably torment four. Um, but um, yeah, I've never. I've, I know oh, torment six. Sorry, with a demon hunter. That was that was a cluster of demon hunter. That was fine. Um, but yeah, um, it seems like um, toughness isn't really sort of thought about as much as it was. Uh, you know, as it should do. Obviously, in hardcore, it's completely different, I guess. Um, but um, which is a shame. You know, it'd be nice to balance it out a bit more. Um, but although I do like, you know, obviously I love like um, just the massive DPS and just basically like kill everything before uh, before it kills you. Um, yeah. So anyway, I think sorry this this video was a bit more sorry a bit more um, blundering. Um, but um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it now. Um, like I said, it's it's hard to try and read half my writing anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll finish this video now, um, and I'll probably do one more after this. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, take care and poison feather out.